The one thing I remember the most is the phones ringing, like all the phones ringing in the house, every mobile ringing with the evacuation, which is very unnerving when you're trapped in your house and you can't get out. Very important to bring uh, artists and uh, uh, farmers together and especially after recovery. I think it's a, it's a great way also to speak about it. It's been a bit of a trick to allow yourself to get involved in it and carried along with it. I felt the urge to get creative again and she said, Jen, you can't be creative without a space. You need a studio. Oh, I'm totally thrilled that I could uh, uh, unlock again uh, Jen's creativity. That was for me actually the highlight. I've uh, milk painted the walls and I've started a hobby. And the other thing that we've done is actually gone around the farm looking at old disused machinery and just looking at them and seeing how they speak, what they say, and if we could actually turn them into some sort of creation. Everything is beautiful. Even if it's a rusty old piece of metal, it's beautiful. And then you look at it and you think, it's a rusty old piece of metal. And then she points it out and she shows you how the light shines off it all through it. And you think, oh, it's beautiful. No, it's a wheel pub under there. Oh, right oh, yeah, we created a, a map that uh, people can explore our uh, our creations or get an idea of what uh, we actually did. With Birgit being here, that's actually um, set us off on that journey again of, hey, you know, just look at what is here, look at the beauty of what actually is in the environment around you. When I think I was only two weeks here, then I have to say it. It's amazing how much we achieved in the short time. It's very subtle but very important. It's about feeling emotionally uh, connected to the land that you're on and seeing the beauty in what can be a very hard environment.